Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426 and today we have the review of the 5-2 Toys Beast Box Blossom. Now this is also one of those limited edition uh, versions of the Beast Box line. Uh, so once again, uh, usually I wouldn't buy these kind of stuff, but once again this is based on a certain mold that I actually d did not own uh, originally. Now technically I do have one, uh, the original variant that a friend gave mine, but once again that's something I haven't reviewed yet. And since I haven't really bought it my own, I didn't really review that. Uh, product as well. Alright, so as usual, let's go over the basic component. So this time I didn't bring out the box because uh, I got this some time ago, so the box is no longer with me. Alright, so uh, first of all, what you get, of course, is originally, as usual, the, the Beast Box unit itself, which is inside in the cube form. Uh, then, and then on the outside, you can see the box charger, but being this being a special edition line, this is not your typical clear color version. This is your, like, uh, clear purple-ish, pinkish color version going on here. So, yeah, and I actually do like the overall aesthetics of this. And then there are the typical stuff that you are supposed to get. Number one is the, well, one thing you get the catalog, you get the PVC card and the instruction manual for the PVC card. Now for, for the PVC card, it's basically fold the PVC card in half like this. You put it behind, inside the box and then you put the Beast Box unit. Uh, so that when you actually open up the box charger, it would pop out so that you would have less of a hard time pulling it out. But once again, it really depends on your preference. Alright, so let's get this out of the way and let's see what we got. So, uh, other than that, uh, that, that uh, here is the PVC, uh, here is the character card going on here. These, uh, most Beast Box would contain this character card, but once again, there are some exceptions out there. So in front, we have a very beautiful illustration going on here, and here is the name Blossom. And you can definitely tell this is a, this is not a regular Beast Box because the code here is very different. And then here on the back side, we have another illustration going on here, and then here we have the stats. Definitely has high speed and intelligence, but a little bit of mediocre courage and strength and definitely low defense. But then again, being a bird, I think that's pretty much uh, acceptable. And on the bottom here, we actually do have some text going on here. So if you want to read, you can pause and read it. Uh, definitely have that. Now the Beast Box World is kind of interesting. It's not all about weapons. It's not about war, but once again, we definitely have some shady stuff going on here. All right, and other than that, the other interesting thing you might be receiving is this. Now, for those who have actually bought the original Beast Box, the Echo Blast or Rumble Beat, you should be familiar with this. But once again, uh, the odd part is that the original ones, I believe one of them, would not give you the box charger, but would actually just give you this, which is very, uh, which I thought was kind of odd. But still, in this case, you get both the box charger and this. So this is supposed to be used like this, and then you're supposed to put the bird on top of here, which I will be showing you guys a demonstration later. But for now, let's open this thing up and let's see what we got. So once again, the box charger is looking beautiful. I really love the color here going on here. And then here we have the folded up version of Blossom. Definitely, uh, you can see the beautiful uh, clear plastic going on here. Now, there is that thought of where clear plastic is fragile or breaks easily. Now, I only have one case of Beast Box uh, clear piece being uh, that breaking on me, but that was technically my fault. And at the same time, the part that broke was a fragile area in general. So, yeah. For, but other than that, I had zero issues with the clear parts in Beast Box. So, uh, the transformation for this guy is pretty simple as far as I remember, so once again, I'll be right back with the transformation or transform version because once again, doing it in front of this camera will take a long time. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the transform version of Blossom and here is that example I was talking about where you can use this stand thing to make uh, and connect it to the box charger and make it look like he's, you know, on top of the box charger. So once again, I do like this concept a lot, but once again, uh, just to be uh, give you guys a warning is that this connection here between the box charger and the stand can get a little bit loose in the in the long time because um, I actually had a friend who actually had this, and this connection between the connection between these two were very weak. But then again, the original one uh, did not come with the box charger, as far as I know. So that was kind of a awkward situation, but still, uh, yeah. But other than that, I do really like this idea going on here. And just to give you guys an idea, here is the way how you connect it. You can just separate them and reconnect them as well. So, and uh, the way how you connect it is that there are these pegs here, and then on the feet of Blossom, there are these small holes that you can attach it there. So that's how the connection works. All right, so now let's get the uh, unit itself. So, uh, I really like the color going on here. Despite being clear plastic, it looks really beautiful. And the fact that like some parts, you can actually see the inside parts going on here. So, yeah, I really like the looks of this. Uh, 
uh, because uh, well there was another uh, clear version of this which was based on the yellow color uh, this bird uh, frame actually ha has multiple you know variants there's the original which was a typical pirate colored you know the red and white and blue uh, scheme uh, color go uh, variant and then there was a yellow version and then there was the clear yellow version and then there was the like something called the space odyssey where it was uh, based on a white and blue color scheme and I'm pretty sure there's a few more that I'm not aware of but yeah there's multiple of these guys since this is one of the original beast boxes that were made all right so I think we should talk about articulation as usual so let's see what we got so starting with the head here now originally the head was very stiff so because the inside being a ball joint there was no reason for this head not to move so apparently it was on very stiff because it was just pretty much brand new and being clear plastic so i did kind of force it but now the head can move a little bit more easily as well and the head can go down that much so that's pretty good and then up oh, that's pretty well uh that's a pretty good range as well and then you can also move the open the mouse as well so that's a nice touch and looking at the head here, I really like the color scheme going on here. This, other than the pink color scheme, the, on the eyes you have a light, uh, light purple color, and then on the edges you have this nice gold color going on here. So definitely gives uh, the unit more character. And then we have this fin that can move up and down. That, but once again, this is more for the transformation going on here. Uh, okay, and then I think we should talk about the wings. So obviously the wings, I'm just going to look at one side because the other side should be the same. So the entire wing can move up forward and backward like that because there is a joint here. And then there's a middle joint here which has one, there's like multiple joints connecting with each other. So, but because of the clear plastic, you can see how it works. So you can, uh, you can kind of fold, uh, yeah, there we go. You can fold it like this or extend the wings outwards like that. So that's pretty cool. There's no other joint here. So you can't just move this middle section on its own forward and backwards. So don't do that because technically that's, there's only one joint that's holding this part. So you don't want to break that. And then the last part of the wing is this section here. So this end, end point is connected as a ball joint, as you can see. So rotating this part can, is possible, although a real bird would never be able to do that. And then there's another joint here, so you can move the wings forward and backward. And using the ball joint, you can move a little more if you want to do so. But once again, going to this side, to the backward, it's more for the transformation here. And that's pretty much it for the wings. But you can see the inside parts, so it's really looking good if you ask me. All right, uh, other than that, let's look at the legs here. Now the legs, despite how they look, it may look like they can uh, uh, stretch, stretch out a little more, but this is as far as it goes because there is something blocking the way. And the, the legs itself are connected as ball joints, so you, go, you can go 360. Uh, going to the side, not so much because there's no opening here. And then the feet are also on a ball joint, so no big deal there. And you can you get a nice toe bit upwards. Whoops, there we go. Uh, you can't go downwards because there is block, something blocking the way as well. And finally, the moving point would be the tail. Uh, the tail, it's really up to your preference of how you want to display the tail. So you can move this main tail up and down and then the side parts up and down as well and move them to side to side if you want to do so. So really up to you. All right, and there is technically one more articulation, but that's technically not non-official and it's more for the transformation, but you can actually divide this section up and then make the body I'll go side to side if you want to do so. Now going through uh, 180, not, it's not really easy because you have to do something to do that. But once again, you do get a little bit more range of movement if you want to do so. And that is pretty much it for the Blossom articulation here. So once again, there are multiple versions of this guy, but as long as, I, if I had to like recommend, this one is pretty good, but might be difficult to find these days. So as long as the bird comes with, uh, I'll, I'll basically recommend the version that comes with a box charger and you should be you know good to go and once again that is pretty much it for the review once again I really do enjoy buying these beast box lines from 5 Two toys I'm really excited I'm still really excited for their upcoming uh, beast drive series and also for the their upcoming uh, combiner dog series yeah there are these four hounds that can combine into a dinosaur I think or a t-rex uh, but I'm really excited to look uh, review those as well once again, if you guys have got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.